right, I don't know how you guys feel about this, but uh, from now on, I think this is how I'm going to be doing my vlogs throughout the winter because these wedding favor blankets that we got are amazingly comfortable. Okay, for real, no, I'm not going to be doing that, um, though I, I do appreciate the fact that we were able to, for our wedding at the end of this month, get blankets as favors. Like, that's that's unique on its own right, because everyone gets something useful rather than, like, a little basket or, like, some soaps or something like that. That'll be gone, like, after, like, a week or two of using it. Uh, these blankets will last a long time until you really don't want them anymore. And they're comfy as hell, too. I love it. I wanted to, this time, take a little bit of the easy route and do a little bit of a Q&A with you guys, because um, I know I usually do this on the main channel, but I thought it would be kind of cool to, like, make this a standing series here on the second channel, because, you know, gotta, gotta diversify your content, so to speak. I know there's a lot of gaming on the other channel, and that's good. Uh, this is where you're going to find all the IRL stuff, as mentioned prior in regards to my previous upload. But uh, yeah, so I figure we'll start fresh by making a little bit of a Q&A series for this channel that I can do every now and again. And we'll just dive right in. I take questions from Twitter, uh, Facebook, mostly Twitter, though. That seems like that's the more uh, common route of uh, interaction and stuff like that. So that way helps out a lot. I think from there we can just dive right into it. Uh, but before I do that, actually, I just wanna say apologies if my volume levels seem really weird. Uh, I blew out my ear yesterday from uh, doing band practice. Uh, I was sitting way too close to the kick drum and that just messed me up. Like <laughs> It just messed me up bad. Uh, so just bear with me as I try and calibrate my own voice while doing this. So the first question I have, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> so the first question I have is by Sunny Badger 12 and it is AEW or NXT. Uh, for those who don't know, those are two wrestling brands, AEW, All Elite Wrestling and NXT, a WWE developmental turned third brand, which has a lot of good wrestling on it. Um, both, because I don't know about you guys, I kind of subscribe to the mindset of it's not really an us versus them sort of thing. Uh, wrestling is wrestling, and it's there's a it's a great time to be a wrestling fan in 2019. There's so much of it out there. Fucking like impact. There's WWE, NXT, AEW, NWA, uh, indie stuff beyond wrestling. There's GCW is personally one of my favorite indie companies that I've watched in a long time. But there's so much out there. That you can watch. So regardless, I could say, hey, one day I'm going to put on my AEW hat and I'm going to represent them. Or another day I'll put on another black and gold and that'll be my NXT hat. So like I can I can watch whatever the hell I want and not feel like it's an us versus them sort of thing. Sure, sometimes they want to make you believe that. But at the end of the day, it's it's great to be a wrestling fan in 2019. Okay, so next question, uh, Rydot asks, is marriage going to change my content in any predictable way? Well, uh, I don't want to say that because, one, I'm going to try and do what I can to make the best content I can on both of these channels, uh, and two, obviously, change is the one thing that's going to happen inevitably in any person's life, uh, whether it be for good or bad, but um, I think that the changes that come with this channel and the changes that come with the main channel and my Twitch channel and all like every avenue where you can find content from me, uh, that's, that's all on the decisions that I make and the decisions and the changes that I choose to make in regards to my videos. So I don't post anything for the next month. That's on me. Obviously there will be like a week where I take off and, uh, it's going to be something that is my own doing because of the honeymoon. But regardless, uh, let's find out what Marissa says too. Hi, uh, I'm actually filming a video at the moment, and um, I had a I had a question for you because it was for a Q and A. Uh, is marriage going to change my content in any way possible? Um, it might change your vlog content in the future, but not right away. When you when you make a life with somebody, you usually make big plans like buying a house, decorating the house, you have babies. You moved. We'll discuss right? that. We'll discuss that baby part a little later. Yeah, I'm pregnant now. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll I'll ask you a I'll ask you a better question. Okay, sure. 
How does it feel to be getting married in a month? Stressful. <laughs> It's less than a month. Yeah, it's less than a month. It's getting crazy. I have three working weeks left. And then, and then wedding, and then honeymoon. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. God, I love her. Anyway, so um, let me get back to it. Uh, yeah, marriage won't change my content in any particular way with the exception, of course, about the life that I build with Marissa and what I choose to share with you guys, uh, in regards to that, uh, moving on, uh, pure chaos asks, what is your favorite childhood cartoon, either TV or animated movie? So if we're talking TV show, I would say my favorite cartoon would have to be Batman, the animated series. Uh, just, I love Batman way too much. And I think that is one of the better iterations of that character and that, and what, uh, storylines they put them through. I know each episode was usually like a bottle in its own right, but I really liked how uh, it was sort of a villain of the week sort of thing, and it worked out for him in every episode. And, and then felt more of like an adult show. Like, it was a kid show with adult themes, and it, and it really, like, it, it wasn't joking around. It was very mature for a cartoon show. And as for animated movie, uh, I'm going to go with Fox and the Hound. That's easily one of my favorite Disney movies. It's easily one of my favorite animated films. It, it fucking hits me right in the heart every time I watch it. It's so fucking good. Lost Bra Bander asks, what is your favorite Halo game and why? That would be, of course, Halo 3. Halo 2 gets an honorable mention for being, like, the first online game I've ever played. But Halo 3 was the one that, like, I, I don't get into YouTube if not for Halo 3. Because I played online a lot in that. Um, I got into Machinima that way. Uh, I fell out of it with Halo 2 uh, just because it took me a while. And then I watched Red vs. Blue and how they transitioned into Halo 3. And it got me into being like, hey, I could do this. And I started to do it and make friends through that community, which led me eventually to getting into Machinima.com, which eventually leads me to working with Gom and Chilled and... Z and the Derp Crew begins that way. Halo 3 for the story is easily one of my favorites just because of how epic of a game it is. Uh, it felt really like it, it It was the perfect wrap up for the Master Chief trilogy, so to speak. Um, of course, Halo 4 happened uh, in the wake me when you need me moment. I've, I haven't touched 4 and 5, unfortunately, uh, as much as I want to. I know I should, uh, but 1, 2, and 3 are some of my favorite games ever and halo 3 is my favorite halo game of all time just easily if if i had a gun to my head that would be the one game that i would pick <laughs> tim tartimco asks what is your favorite game to play with the derp crew and what is your favorite solo game uh favorite game to play with the derp crew easily right now is uno or jackbox party pack uh any of the jackbox games uh, I thoroughly enjoy playing because we just crack each other up the whole time playing it. Same with Uno. Uh, the rage is funny. And my favorite game to play solo on my own uh, right now is Outer Worlds just because I'm a huge Fallout mark and Obsidian making a new property was absolutely worth it and it was absolutely worth the wait. It basically, for those who don't know, Obsidian made Fallout New Vegas and they did the original Fallout games. So them coming in and making a new property uh, that essentially feels like a Fallout in space. Essentially, it's just like, mwah, it's perfect. It's so good. Oh, this is a loaded question. So the anime fans asks, do you still keep in contact with those you met while on Channel Awesome? Um, yes and no. I don't talk to everyone on a regular basis like I used to. Uh, I used to be involved in a group Skype chat for the Channel Awesome contributors. I left that a while ago when I left the company and stuff like that. I, I have a few friendships remaining from that. And I still kind of like talk to them every now and again, but not like I used to. I will say though, I do miss a lot of the old contributors. Like off the top of my head, I can only think of a few names, but I know there's more. I absolutely know there's way more to that. And I, I do miss a bunch of people from that website, genuinely. It's just a matter of, like, going back and reaching out again, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, I do keep in contact with a bunch of people. It's just, it you know, time goes by and you kind of lose contact with people. That's 
That's really it. NickMill17 asks, are you an Xbox guy or a PlayStation guy? And what was the first game you remember playing on the console of your choice? So I started out as a PlayStation guy, uh, and my first game that I really dove into was, of course, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater and that whole series. Uh, then I eventually worked my way over to Xbox because my friend had Halo, just like split screen or whatever, and whether it be like the co-op or it would be like multiplayer. Um, those were like the two and I would bounce back and forth. Uh, and then eventually I kind of worked my way just over to the Xbox with Halo 2 and all that stuff. And that's kind of how I became an Xbox guy. And then PlayStation 3 kind of brought me back with a couple of their, uh, exclusive games. And then I mainly preferred PlayStation 4 over Xbox One. Regardless, I guess now I'm more of a PlayStation guy because I use it for a bunch of recording, whether it be like SWO or just playing games on the PlayStation. But I, I feel bad I have my Xbox over there, and I know I need to go ahead and just use it again. It's mainly just used as like a Blu-ray player. But other than that, like, I just got to dive back in at some point. So probably the Halo games is what I'll do, but they're coming on PC at some point. So I don't know if that really counts. All right, so I think I have a, I think I have a solid one to end on, if that's fine with you guys. Uh, I was trying this before, it didn't work out. Josh Ziegler 99 asks, what motivates you? What keeps you going when it's a tough time and you need help? Well, I would say uh, what keeps me going in regards to just anything whenever I'm having a problem is, well, and not to get sappy with you guys, my wife, my fiance, um, she is the one who can kind of center me and the one who can kind of say, hey, you are getting ahead of yourself and you're setting up an expectation for yourself and you need to like dial it back a little bit. She, Cause I'm one of those people who like, I'll, I'll have my head in the clouds. You know what I mean? Like I will, I will set myself up for an expectation. Like I'll set myself for great expectations. And then when something happens, I feel like I'll be knocked down a few pegs. And she's one of those people who's more of a realist. And she's one of those people who can tell me, Hey, um, this isn't going to work. However, what you can do to build up to that is the following steps and she kind of breaks it down in a way that i would never have thought of she just she just makes me happy and she makes she knows how to make me laugh and because we're getting married in 20 something days which holy shit you guys that's insane that i'm getting married relatively soon and god um but what else can i say uh other than like she makes me happy and she knows how to make me happy and she's super supportive and kind but anyway uh that's it for this q a uh thank you guys so much for watching let me ask you guys a question how about that uh just to get a little conversation in the comments going because i like that i like when we do that uh what keeps you going what what motivates you to start the day and what what makes you happy anyway with that said i will talk to you guys later hope you guys had a good one uh, I will see you in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.